pam 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 the peter dislike show pam 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 so one of the big problems i have with uh my difference in lifestyle is um, actually twofold. Number one, because I beat on such a different wavelength than a lot of my peers. A lot of my peers do not see my life as worthwhile, so when I mention something that I want in my work-life balance with um, accommodations, they think, ah, it's just a, it's just a bunch of nothing, right? Whereas my peers, they want to do something with their family, with their significant other. And number two, a lot of times it's very difficult to even bring up some of these things. We've become a very sensitive culture. And so sometimes so I was just talking to my new co-workers about um, some uh, uh, eating disorders that I got over. Uh, one of my colleagues is trying to, or I shouldn't say try, he, he quit vaping. And uh, I mentioned to him that he should think of himself as being free of vaping, not as quitting vaping. And uh, uh, the, the entire group of people who were there just got really riled up about that, that idea, right? We've become a very sensitive uh, culture to listening to new things. I was working at a tutoring center and I had a lot of difficulty with my boss because he would overhear my approaches on teaching and he would think that some of the subjects that I mentioned were a little bit too sensitive. I think I had an eight, eight or nine year old teaching him about percentages and I uh, explained to him about um, an, a historical example about um, the misery index in the 1970s. We were battling both inflation and unemployment and so the, we added those percentages to come up with a misery index. And my boss got very upset. He, he said that this is too sensitive a topic for, for a nine-year-old. Nine-year-olds shouldn't be hearing about inflation and unemployment and all of that. And that's the kind of... We've become so sensitive to what we can talk about. It's almost like we want to pretend some of this stuff doesn't exist. We want to pretend everybody is straight. Everybody has the same hobbies. Everybody has the same bad eating habits. Everybody has the same outcomes. And we, want to, we want to just put blinders on or none of this exists. And don't. I mean, do, do what's politically wrong and do it proudly.